Hello guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In our prior tutorial, we have learned how to build our very own flashlight using just two cylindrical parts. In today's tutorial, we're going to make another flashlight, but this time we're going to make it using a mesh part. So let's get started by going to our workspace. We're going to add a tool. Our flashlight is going to be a tool. You can rename your tool or leave it the same. It's up to you. I'll rename mine to new flashlight. Inside your new flashlight, we're going to add a mesh part. Our mesh part is going to need to have a mesh and a texture. So now we're going to go to our toolbox. First, we're going to look for a mesh. So go to your marketplace. We're going to look for meshes. And the mesh that we are looking for is for a flashlight. You can take your pick here. I'm going to select this one, the first flashlight. So I'm going to right click. Just make sure you copy mesh ID here instead of copy asset ID. And go back to your mesh part, click on it, look for the mesh ID property, right click and control V to paste it in, hit enter. Now we have a flashlight. The next thing we need for this flashlight is we're going to need to add a texture to it because right now it looks very plain. So I'm going to use one of my images that I have uploaded previously. I'm going to use the vortex image for the texture of this flashlight. So I'm going to right click, copy asset ID, come back to my mesh part here, and I'm going to look for a property called texture ID right click and control V to paste it in, hit enter. Now my flashlight is nice and colorful. We can close this window right here. And you can see that the flashlight is very big compared to the character, which is not realistic. So, and this is why we have a rig here so we can size the, the flashlight properly, right? So we're gonna Select the flashlight, click on scale, and we want to scale it down, make it smaller to make it look realistic. I can put focus on it. All right. Next, we're going to rotate this flashlight. So click on rotate. I'm going to put it sideways. And let's click on the, the mesh part. We're going to put in a spotlight inside the flashlight. If you don't see the light, you can play around with the properties of the spotlight. For example, you can increase the brightness. You can see that it's shining the wrong way, right? So instead of facing front, you can play around with all the different facing or if you know which way you should face, just select that. I'm gonna select top and it's facing to the front of the flashlight. That's where I want it to face. The only thing is with the spotlight, you can, you can see that the spotlight is, is uh, placed inside the handle. We used a spotlight before because we had two different cylindrical parts. So uh, the spotlight is, the, the light is coming out of the part that is in the front. That's where we put it. But with this mesh part, the, the spotlight is in the middle of the part. So that's not what we want. So instead of the spotlight, we can use a surface light and it's gonna emit from the front of the light. So I'm going to go and delete the spotlight here. And we're going to redo this part. So we're going to add a surface light into our mesh part. And click on the surface light. We're going to change the brightness. Again, we're going to have to change the face to face the top. And you can change anything else you like here. For example, my flashlight is kind of purple. So instead of a white light coming out, I'm gonna change it, make it kind of purple to match the color of the flashlight. Um, what else we have here? Top, the range, you can change the range, give it more range and check this box for shadows. And the next thing here is very important. Our tool is gonna need to have a handle. So we're gonna go back here instead of 
naming it mesh part, we're gonna have to change this name to handle. If you don't do this, if you don't have a part name handle inside your tool, your tool is not gonna work. Now you have two choices. You can either leave your new flashlight inside the workspace for the players, any player to go and pick it up, or you can put your new flashlight inside the starter pack. Now, if you put it inside the starter pack, then every player that joins the game, is gonna automatically have this new flashlight inside their backpack. You can see that inside my starter pack, I have four different tools in it. I have a flashlight, a flashlight mesh part, a flashlight model, and a new flashlight, which is the one that we have just built. Let's now play and take a look. You can see at the bottom here, this is my hot bar here, and these are all the different items that I have inside my backpack. So I'm gonna equip my player with the new flashlight. I'm gonna click on it, you can click on it, or you can press the number key. So it's the number four, if you press four, it's gonna select this one. Our new flashlight that we have just built is not pointing in the right direction, it's pointing up. So you can change that here. We can go to our workspace. I'm gonna look for my character, expand that. I'm gonna look for the new flashlight. It's right here, click on it, and go to the properties window. In the grip section, we want to change the orientation of this flashlight. I'm going to make it 90 in the X component. Hit enter, and now it's pointing in the right direction. Now, if you like it the way it is, you can leave it and you're all done. For me, I like to make a change. I like my player, the character, to hold the flashlight further towards the back of the flashlight. So I'm going to go to the position. And in the Y component, I'm gonna make it one instead of zero, hit enter. Oops, that went in the wrong direction. I wanted it to go in the other direction. So instead of one, I should make it negative one. Hit enter, that looks better. Or if you like, instead of negative one, you can put it, make it negative 0.8. If you are happy with the way your tool looks, what you can do now is you can right click on your tool, the new flashlight, do a copy, and then you can press stop here to go back to studio. I'm gonna go to my starter pack. I'm gonna right click and paste into. So I'm pasting the new tool that we have adjusted back into the starter pack, and I'm gonna remove the old tool that we have just made. Press delete. Now we have the new tool inside our starter pack. If you play again here, I'm gonna click on the new flashlight and you can see that it looks very nice. Guys, that's how you make a flashlight using a mesh part in Roblox. Thank you for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care, everyone.